Guten Morgen and welcome to VLN 2 of the 2019 season. Lost my GoPro last time out, so I managed to find it again. Uh, guys uh, from Vulcan Horse found it, which is mega, so we're back in vlogging business again. This is race day today, we had a mega day of testing yesterday. All week we were spent just watching the weather, because today, as you may or may not be able to see from the sky, uh, it's predicted to snow at some point today. It's about one, two degrees at the moment. Uh, I'm absolutely freezing and it has been yesterday as well uh, and it's supposed to be even colder today basically. Um, this weekend I'm sharing with uh, standard uh, uh, co-driver Christian Crudeners as well as uh, Jordan Tresson rejoins the team um, after driving for the, the team full time last year. So mega to have him back on board again another uh, GT Academy and PlayStation graduate. Um, so yeah, qualifying's just happened now. Uh, I just went out first, set my banker lap, and Jordan's gone out as well, and then uh, we're waiting for Christian to go out at the end. So yeah, looking good. We'll give you an update after qualifying now. Right then, qualifying over, showtime. We are starting P8 overall. Um, Christian, we've all got some good sectors in, but never quite got to that. So, yeah, a little out of position, but we think we've got pace to uh, move up the field. So, yeah, down to me to get the ball rolling for it. So, looking forward to it. Let's go. So, as I drove the car to the grid, I could see the conditions changing literally minute to minute. One minute it was okay, next minute it was snowing, but it was so cold and dry that it wasn't actually settling on the road. So I just wanted to get going and eventually... I've got a three-minute board. This is for the start of the formation lap. And in fact, the formation lap is now underway. So uh, before uh, the scheduled start time of... And this is the start of formation lap. So it's about two degrees and we're on a harder compound tyre. Um, then it's probably recommended for the conditions. I'm literally barely using 30% throttle in a straight line and the car is still spinning up. You notice the gap in front of me. I'm not on pole here. I actually can't keep up with the safety car. The Porsche safety car that the VLN use, I can't keep up with it without potentially risking the car. And here I almost have a big moment where I'm trying to catch up, thinking I might get in trouble. And it snaps one way, snaps the other, and I was quite lucky to keep it out of the barrier. And then, 15 minutes later, end of the formation lap, sunshine on the dotting of her, ready to go racing. Lane as well, also looking for a change of rubber, but uh, the hammer was well and truly down in the Monteplast pole sitting. Audi and the car collection, Audi trying to go up the inside into turn one. It's not going to happen. BMW takes the lead into the first quarter, but hasn't got a whole load of braking done, but in fact sweeps around the outside through the right-hander. So with this entire attempt now, I'm feeling racy. I've managed to make a move on the Lambda Mercedes through the Grand section, and then stopping behind Martin Township in the Schnitzer exit. So this is lap one. The Audi ahead of me, the Lamp Audi, was very hesitant, um, so he was actually causing a little bit of a traffic jam behind him. And this is where the wet, the wet and the snow started. So it just sort of starts to back off now and start to fill the conditions. And just in that very small amount, there's barely any moisture on the road, and there's already tyre temp is already going. And this is where our harder compound tyre really didn't like the wet. Road, where it just cooled the surface of the tyre. Uh, I quickly changed the ABS and TC settings and map settings as quick as I could to try and adapt to the conditions, but uh, the cars on the softer compound tyre around us uh, could just retain the surface temperature and therefore the grip. As again, you can see, barely 70% throttle in straight line and the car is just spinning up, which is pretty crazy. So at this point here, you just go into survival mode. You can't really make, race the guys around you got to make sure that the car is there at the end of this well you don't know how long it's going to happen for but as long as it needs to be the car just needs to survive before you can then get back on the offensive so i'm not really trying to race anyone around me it's purely survival staying out there on the way
However then, a mere few corners later, so now just coming down towards Flansgarten, I noticed that the track was then dry again. So this was my opportunity to build some track tent, this entire tent from the dry circuit, uh, which looks like I hadn't even seen any snow at all, and I was immediately back on the offensive again uh, with the number two get speed Mercedes AMG. So from where we left off, um, just at Schwalben's front, it's been dry, and then I come over the crest into Adenauer Forest after the foxhole, literally straight into a snowstorm. So the road was completely dry as I went up to the crest, went over the crest, noticed the snowfall, and then again, just like going up to the carousel, immediately the surface temperature of the tyre is lost, and it just becomes a skating rink, uh, and survival ensues. And as the snow melts on the circuit and then draws all the tyre temperature away from the tyre, again it becomes a survival exercise, exercise, as you will see for the rest of the lap. telling you now if you look on the right hand side you just about see a red flag come out and I've never been so glad to see a red flag. Got over the crest of the hill which I didn't think I was going to and then straight into um, get home mode, turn on engine maps down and take it back to the pits. Unfortunately the number two gets speed wasn't so fortunate. Felt pretty bad for him because yeah a few seconds earlier and he would have backed off. This is coming out to the carousel under red flag conditions you can see the snow on the ground and then up towards Hoat so this is the highest part of the circuit so this is going to be the worst affected for the snow and then you can probably almost hear me breathe a sigh of relief as I brought the car back in one piece race Joe would be in his shorts anyhow so that'll be a lovely day for Joe but the snow sitting on the rear wing actually being shoveled off the top that's good to see not the snow but but it's the get speed Mercedes we saw it tail into the barrier I'm providing they haven't got two cars it's and I haven't a, caught myself out say, just check that's, that's number two or is it the sister I car it's the 23 that one isn't it or Oh, that could be the roast uh, well, that could yes that could be the Janine Hill John Schoff and the yes. Fabian Schiller one of the other camera cars which is, which is also a Get Speed Performance uh, entry, but sponsored by Rooster Rojo, uh, R2, uh, J2 Racing. Um, and I think that was... Red flag. That was one of the scariest sessions I've ever done. Literally bone dry, come over a crest, and there's snow on the ground. On slicks, and it's like one degree. So, um, right decision. Hopefully they let us run again on wet. Let's see. Now I walk out of the Walton Horse Hospitality. Snow. Sun. Wet. Hopefully we restart it because we should be able to just run wet now. We should be okay. Let's go find out. <laughs> So this is about an hour after the race stopped, pretty much. This guy, steamy circuit. Uh, and hopefully we get to go sometime soon. But I don't really know what's happening, so we'll find out. However, we did quite quickly get news that the race had been abandoned. And you can see as we're walking away here how dry the ground is and how blue the sky was. It still was by no means warm, but it was at least dry, I thought. And these are some shots from uh, even earlier on in the day. So yeah, I was greatly disappointed to see the race abandoned, uh, especially given the conditions that we had later on that afternoon. However, I am under the impression that the organizers knew that there was more heavy snow forecast 
for the next 24 hours so getting everyone home was a priority as much well even before finishing the race so and that was proved true as uh, the sunday after the race there was very heavy snowfall uh, overnight which could have potentially affected quite a few people so uh, yeah safety first uh, but yeah great shame uh, i hope this you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and if you'd like to see more content like this going forward then please make sure you hit that subscribe button ciao ciao for now